Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today's video is going to be how I found out I was pregnant at 19 years old and I'm going to be spilling all the tea in this video. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. So I found out, I don't like, I don't even know where to start. Okay. So I found out I was pregnant with Azra at 19 years old. I was a sophomore in college. Basically, I knew that I was pregnant before I found out that I was officially pregnant. Like something inside of me just knew that I was pregnant. And it's funny because one day me and Jada were making cookies, we were drinking wine, and like we were just hanging out one day and I just told her, I was like, I think I'm pregnant. And you know, I was drinking a little bit of wine, but I was at, at that point I would have been like two weeks pregnant. Like literally this is how early I knew that I was pregnant. It was so weird. Like two like i was two weeks pregnant at this time literally and i just told her i was like i feel like i'm pregnant and she started crying and like we didn't really talk about it much after that and then like two weeks later i found out i was actually pregnant so it's like something inside of me just like knew that i was pregnant and so one day I found out on January 7th, 2017, I specifically remember this. Oh my god, like all these memories are rushing back as I'm talking about it. So on January 7th, I remember I was hanging out with Miranda, his brother's wife, so like my sister-in-law. So we were hanging out one day and I was just talking to her. I was like, I feel like really strange. Like I, I wasn't throwing up. I wasn't nauseous or anything. I just felt different. Like I just felt different. And like, I didn't say I was pregnant or anything. I didn't say I thought I was pregnant. Like she just like mentioned it. And I was like, hmm, maybe I am pregnant. So later that day I got home, I took a nap and this may be too much, too much information, but like I started getting cramps in my butt. And I was like, it's really weird. Like I never get that. I wasn't on my period or anything. I just like get these cramps like it's like lightning bolts in my butt and I'm just like what the heck and so I'm just like I'm feeling so weird let me just go get a pregnancy test but it's like something in me knew so I went to go take the pregnancy test I told Ray I was going to get a pregnancy test he wasn't with me when I took the test because I just like needed to know right that instant because I was just like so so like I needed to know you know so I went to go get the pregnancy test really quick got home I took it right away and I remember just like waiting those are three minutes and I was just like I was like I'm, maybe I'm not pregnant and I'm just like overthinking this and I look and I see the little two lines and I actually still have that pregnancy test it's somewhere in boxes I still have it and it had the two little lines and I was just like oh my god oh my god <laughs> I was like oh my god like i'm pregnant like i'm pregnant right now so i'm calling ray i'm telling him i'm pregnant like i'm texting jada and i'm just like i'm about to be a mom like i'm about to be a mom so yeah so it's like i just knew that i was pregnant um, it's like something inside of me just was like telling me that I was pregnant. It was just so weird. I just felt so different. My body just felt different. Like I'm really in tune with my body. And so I just felt like, I just felt different. I don't know. I can't even explain it. Like I just, I truly just felt pregnant. Um, and so I guess I was like really anticlimactic that, that story, I guess, of me finding out I was pregnant. Um, and I feel like people kind of want to know, like, what was I thinking? Like, was I excited? Was I scared? Was I nervous? And I was excited. Honestly, I was excited because I did really want to be a mom. So it wasn't something that I was just not happy about because I genuinely was happy to be a mom. I was really excited. Um, was I nervous? Yes, because I was young at the time. Like, obviously, 19 years old. I was in college. Like... I was about to transfer like I had so many things going on in my life that I was just like you know kind of up in the air but 
the thing is me as a person there was never anything in my mind that told me that I was never that I wasn't going to graduate college like me for me having a baby was not the end of my life for me having a baby was not the end of a career like anything for me because I truly feel like babies don't stop your life they're they're truly like blessings but they truly don't make you not do anything in life I think that you as a person if you want to do something in life you're going to do it regardless if you have a kid or not so like me having a baby was never a deterrent for being successful <sighs> i'm getting out of breath but yeah so like me having a baby never was like never in my mind was it like a question about me finishing college um so i think also like leading into like me telling my parents i guess i'll tell my tell you like my parents how i told my family um and like I was a little bit nervous to tell my family just because I didn't want them to be like disappointed in me and I didn't want them to think that I wasn't going to finish college but honestly like I don't think anybody had doubts in me like I really don't because if you know me as a person you know that if I want something I will go after it and I will achieve it because that's just the type of person I am I'm a really highly motivated person I'm really highly mo I'm highly determined to do anything that I set my mind to. So when I told my family, like, they just kind of wanted to make sure I had a plan. Like, you're gonna finish school, you know, you're gonna work, are you gonna do this? Like, what are you going to do? How are you going to make your dreams accessible while being a mom? And I think that was the main thing with my family. Um, like, I'm not gonna speak on behalf of like Ray's family because I guess like I don't really know. Like, I was with him when we told them and I guess maybe that was their thought too like you guys are going to finish school right you're going to start your careers you're going to do this you're going to do that but the thing is it's like how we are as people it's like we were never not going to become something I guess you could say um like we've always been very motivated people and yeah so it's like when we found out we were pregnant it was kind of just like okay we're gonna make this work we're gonna you know i worked during my pregnancy and then by the grace of gods <laughs> i got a full ride scholarship to berkeley and that took care of everything like i was able to pay you know my rent and all my bills and like i was able to live a life um and not really have to worry about money which was like truly truly a blessing and like i'm still so grateful for my scholarship from berkeley because it literally changed my life and it made oh yeah it just it was really such a great scholarship and i'm just really proud of myself that i was able to achieve that and you know i was able to finish college with a baby this is how i think of things when you have a like i am not gonna sit here and tell you have a baby in college like it's so easy because it's not it was there was a lot of work involved and mind you we lived in we live in the bay area and none of our family live here none of our families live here none of our friends live here so we had to make new friends and all that stuff but i didn't have help with ezra like ever um i started to get a babysitter when he was like a year and a half so we had a nanny for a little bit and that was super super expensive and he wasn't getting any like social interaction with kids so then i started him at a preschool at like during so he started preschool my last semester at berkeley um and that was nice that was just super expensive as well so it's like child care is so expensive for children and i think that's something that would have definitely helped us out a lot is if we had child care um you know family to help us out but we did it without that so it's like I don't know like i think you can do anything i truly truly think that you can do anything you set your mind to especially if you have help from family and if you live at home like i didn't live at home i didn't have help from family like it was it was hard to navigate that aspect because i didn't have any physical help and i had a newborn my first semester at berkeley um so it's like if you have help if you don't have to pay rent and you have help like physical help take full advantage of that and finish school while you can because it makes all the world of a difference and i definitely think that's something that would have made my experience at berkeley a lot easier if i had just more hands-on help 
but I did it without it and I'm fine like I graduated it's fine um, but I think that would have made my experience a little bit better but I was saying all of that to say that I truly think that people get so discouraged when they have kids young and it's not for everybody because you know like you don't get to party and do certain things like your friends that are your age are doing um, but for me like I was never a partier and I'm still not a partier so it wasn't a big deal to me so like that wasn't something that I was worried about the thing that I would recommend is talk to your partner be like okay like our, our like list the things like the pros and cons of you guys having a baby and I'm not gonna sit here and like tell you if you should like if you clicked on this video because you wanted advice of what to do if you ended up being pregnant at 19 that's not a decision that I can tell you but just know that if you have the desire in your heart to make it you will and um and you have the motivation and determination because it's determination that's going to get you through it um because it's hard there are days that it's like oh this is a lot this is a lot it's a lot you know but it's like at the end of the day you you gotta make it you gotta make it for yourself you gotta make it for your child your family there's just all these things you have to push perf like push through for um but yeah so i don't, honestly don't even know what i've been talking about this entire time i've just started spewing out things but when i told my family like i think that's what i was talking about when i told when i told my family um i don't know if people were disappointed in me but at the end of the day it's my life and that is something that i preached and preached and preached and preached that it's my life and I was always going to make a decision that I wanted to make regardless of what anyone told me or said to me. Um, and so I've, I've managed to be a young mom. So I had my son when I was 20. He was born on July 22nd and he's two and a half now. So he was born quite some time ago. But you guys, I graduated. Like I did it. I, and like I don't want like, like pat on the backs like because the thing is I was gonna do it regardless if I had a baby or not but just know that if you are ever in this situation and you find yourself pregnant at 19 years old you're like shit just know that you can do it you can do it just make sure you really sit down with your partner and, and you guys discuss like is this really the life that you want um, because if not it's like you got to be responsible for yourself and for your baby because once you're pregnant you have you are in charge of a little person and that's a big responsibility I talked about how i found out i was pregnant me taking the test me telling ray i guess i could i mean honestly you guys like the thing is our our reactions were not that crazy like ray was just like are you serious like are you sure and i'm like yeah i'm sure I'm 100% sure um, and the thing was though I found out when I was like four weeks pregnant so I was like early early on pregnant um, but I just I knew I just knew in my heart that I was pregnant you know like I just knew I had a little baby at 20 years old and there's not one thing that I would change about that because my son has changed my life um, I get emotional but he really has changed my life and just know if you are ever in this situation and you do get pregnant just know like I feel like I'm a, I'm a therapist right now but just know that that baby is gonna love you and take like you guys are gonna love each other because sometimes Ezra just like looks at me and he says, I love you, mommy. And it's just like, oh, it's like literally the best thing in the world because it's like they love you so much and you love them. You know, oh my God, I'm getting emotional. Like, oh, I didn't think I was going to get emotional. But like your babies love you, you love them. And it's like, they're like your besties. Um, but it is hard at times. There are days when I'm just like, I need a break. 
I need time to myself. It's like all moms get that. Yeah, so when I found out I was pregnant, I wasn't like too shocked because obviously I knew what we were doing. We both knew what we were doing and what we weren't doing. So um it wasn't that it wasn't that much of a shock, let me tell you. But it was kind of just like, oh shit, this is real, you know? Well, I guess I could tell you guys this. So once I found out I was pregnant, I was still living in SoCal. I was, I was waiting to see what school I was going to transfer to. Um, and then like once I found out I was pregnant, I was like, well, I'm just going to move to the Bay Area with Ray. And like we'll figure it out after that. Um, and like I had applied to San Jose State and that's where Ray went. Um, Berkeley, UCLA. I think that's it quite honestly. Um... And so I applied to those three schools and I was just like, well, I'm probably going to get into San Jose State because like it's a state school. Um, I had like a 4.0 GPA. I was like, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get into San Jose State. And so I was like, if worse comes to worse, I'll just go to San Jose State and like all is well, like we'll be fine, you know? And I got into Berkeley and I was like, oh, 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 you know, because San Jose is like, 45 minutes from Berkeley so I was like I don't know how that's gonna work out but we ended up just finding a place in the middle of the two cities and then we just both commuted which was fine it was kind of a hassle at times but we figured it out um but that's what I'm saying like it's everything is doable everything like is doable like I truly just think that sometimes people overthink things and people are scared to pursue things and just nervous of what's going to happen and let me tell you, I'm a worry wart so I worry about a lot of stuff. I have anxiety so I, you know, I was worried about some things but I knew that I needed to finish college. I knew that I needed to get my degree. I knew that I needed to have that to have a better life for my child so like it was a no-brainer. I was like, okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna, you know, and then also it was like the mo the scholarship money that Berkeley gave me was just like, how can I not go there? Like, I have to go there at this point because this is a life changer. Like, I didn't have to work at all when I went to Berkeley, which is amazing because most people do have to work at school, but I was honestly so gifted. <sighs> like, I just... I truly was so blessed with that scholarship because it allowed me to go to school and be a mom and, you know, focus on those two things and yeah. So you guys, I don't know if that many, I'm hoping when I edit this video it's going to be good enough, but if not, I guess I can just do another video on this and maybe like down below you guys can ask me specific questions you want me to answer about being a mom, a young mom because I kind of just want to tell you guys how I found out I was pregnant um, and like what my parents said, what my family said. Um, I didn't tell you like individually what people said because I honestly don't remember but I kind of just gave you an overall view of like people like opinions on it. Um, yeah honestly I don't even know but I hope this is a good video and I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Bye! Thank you.